हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ई क्लासेस ऑफ पी एन अमर सिंह हाई स्कूल स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ कॉमर्स सब्जेक्ट स्टैटिस्टिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन मेकिंग द सैम्पल स्पेस लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट्स रीड इट स्टेट द सैम्पल स्पेस फॉर द फॉलोइंग रैंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स The first is a balanced coin is thrown three times. Now let's uh, uh let's make the first sample space of throwing coin three times. Now when you are throwing coin three times, what are the chances? You may get heads on all. That is on all three coins. So what will be the sample point? H H H. Second thing, what you can get? on first two you can get head and the third one tail so it will be hht you can get head on first and third and tail on second so that is hth tail on first you can get and two heads on the other one so thh so these three you are having two heads now what you are going to do you can get even two tails so when you get two tails what you will have h t t that is head on first and tail on the other two you can get tail on first and third and head on second so it will be t h t you can get tails on two coins first two coins so it will be t t and head on third that is h t t h or you can get triple t that is tail on all the three coins so it is t t t so this is the sample space of tossing a coin what coin coin three times you are tossing and you'll get the sample space like this what is the next one a balanced dice with six sides and a balanced coin are tossed together that means what you are doing you are taking a dice and you are taking a coin and you are tossing both together that is you are first rolling a dice then you are tossing a coin so when you roll a dice what you will have you may get 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this you can get and you can get head on the coin so what are the points 1h 2h 3h 4h 5h or 6h that means we can get 1 2 3 4 5 6 and head on the coin what are the next possibilities you can get the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 and tail on the coin so what will be the sample points 1t 2t 3t 4t 5t and 6t so this will be the sample space of the second one now what is the third question two persons are to be selected from five persons and what are the five persons a b c d e so you have to select two two persons so what you can do you can select a b you can keep a constant and select the other one from a b c d e so a i am keeping constant so a b next i can take a c then i can take a d and then i can take a e i have kept a constant in this selection then what i can do i can keep b constant in the selection so b if i am taking constant i can select the other persons so b a i cannot do because a b i have already done so b a will not be there so the next selection will be b c next will be b d then b e this will be the selection then we can keep c constant so you will have c a you cannot take because ac we have already taken cb you cannot take because bc you have already taken so what are the possibilities cd ce now you keep d constant so da no need because ad we have already taken db no need because bd we have already taken dc no need because cd we have already taken so what is left de so these are the sample points and this set will be the sample space of the third part 
let's do question number second write the sample space for the marks in integers scored by a student appearing for an examination of 100 marks and state the number of sample points in it now we have to select the numbers now what are the possibilities of the marks the person can get the marks or a student can get the marks out of 100 so out of 100 he can get 0 he can get 1 he can get 2 he can get 3 and so on and the maximum marks will be 100 because not more than 100 he can get so minimum he will get 0 or he can get 1 he can get 2 3 and so on and the last one will be 100 so this will be the sample space now how many sample points are there now see 1 to 100 will be 100 numbers and plus 0 so total numbers are 101 so number of sample points is equal to 101 let's do question number 3 write the sample space for randomly selecting one minister and one deputy minister from four persons so you have to select, select two persons let us denote by the persons by a b c d now let us select one minister and one deputy minister from this persons so we can take a as minister and deputy minister can be anyone from b c d so you will have a b a C and A D. Then what we can do? We can take B as minister. So you will have deputy minister from A C D anyone. So you will have B C B D and B A. Then what we can do? You can take C as minister and deputy minister from A B D. So you will have C D, you can have C A and you can have C B. Then you take D as minister. So you will have DA, DB and DC. So in this way you can select one minister and one deputy minister. Let's do question number 4. A balanced coin is thrown in a random experiment till the first head is obtained. The experiment is terminated with the trial of the first head. Write the sample space of this experiment and state whether it is finite or infinite. So when you are throwing a coin, if you get head in the first step, stop it. If you get a tail, continue the experiment till you get head. So there are possibilities that you may get head in the second trial or third trial or fourth trial and so on. So we have to continue the experiment up till we are getting the head. Suppose you get the head in the first one. So it will be just H. Suppose when you are throwing a coin and you get a tail. Then go for second trial. If you get a head, stop. So that will be TH. If you don't get a uh, head, if you are getting tail. So what you will do? Second time also tail. So T, T. And if you get a third time head stop it so it will be tth if you don't get head if you are getting tail in the third one so it will be ttt and go for the fourth trial so it will be h if it is h stop if you do if you get a tail in the fourth one again repeat so if you get a head stop otherwise again repeat so in this way we are going to continue until we get a head so what are the possibilities? You can get head in the first trial, second trial, third trial, fourth trial and so on. So this type of experiment can continue and therefore the sample space is called as infinite sample space. Let's do question number 5. Write the sample space for the experiment of randomly selecting three numbers from the first to five natural numbers. So what we have to do? We have to select three numbers from five natural numbers. Now first five natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let us select three, three numbers and make a sample point. Suppose we are taking 1, 2, 3. 
so this will be the first sample point 1 2 if we are keeping constant we can take 4 so 1 2 4 if we are keeping 1 2 constant we can take 5 so 1 2 5 suppose we are taking 1 2 we have already done so now we can take 1 3 so 1 3 if you are taking you can have 1 3 4 next thing we can have 1 3 5 so 1 3 we have taken constant now we can take 1 4 so you will have 1 4 5 now what are the other numbers you can take as here the first number we have taken 1 the next number we can take 2 so we can take 2 3 4 we can take 2 3 5 we can take 2 4 5 now what are the other possibilities you start from 3 so if you start from 3 you can take 3 4 5 right no other possibility is there because if you are starting from 4 it will be 4 5 1 that we have already taken as 1 4 5 so in this way you can make a sample space this is your sample space of the fifth question now let's take question number six the sample space of a random experiment of selecting a number from 1 to 20 write the sets showing the following events now from 1 2 3 4 up to 20 we have to select see the first question the selected number is odd number. Now from 1 to 20, what are the odd numbers? Let us list them. That will be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17 and 19. So this will be your event A and this will be the sample space. Now what is the second point? The selecting number is divisible by 3. So, you have to take the numbers which are coming in the table of 3. So, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18. 3 7s are 21, but 21 is not coming in this set. So, your numbers will be 3 6 9 12 15 and 18. This is event B, that is second part. Now what is the third question? The selected number is divisible by 2 or 3. So the numbers should come in the table of 2 or 3. Now let us list to them. If you take the table of 2, 2 1s are is 2, 2 2s two are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 7s are 14, 2 8s are 16, 2 9s are 18, 2 10s are 20. Up to 20 we have to go. Now you take the table of 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6 we have already taken, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12 we have already taken, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18 we have already taken. So this will be the sample space of event C. That is number which is divisible by 2 or 3. Question number 7, you try yourself. Let us do now question number 8. Two six-faced balanced dice are thrown simultaneously. State the sample space of this experiment and hence write the sets showing the following events. The sum of the numbers should be 7. The sum of the numbers should be less than 4. The sum of the numbers is divisible by 3. And the sum of the numbers is more than 12. Now first, let us make the sample space. Now what will be the sample space? You are having 6 faces on the dice. So what are the possibilities? When you are throwing the 2 dice, what is the first thing? Balanced dice you are throwing, throwing twice because two six faced balanced dice are thrown so what are the possibilities you can get first uh, dice maybe having one so if you get one on the first dice on the second dice you can get one two three four five six any number so the points will be one one two two one two one three one four one five and one six this will be the first case 
you can get 2 on the first and any number from 1 to 6 on the second one. So you will have 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5 and 2, 6. If you get 3 on the first one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you can get on any second dice. So it will be 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5 and 3, 6. In this way we can make a sample space. So it will have 36 sample points. Here I have shown you the sample space. Now let us take the first case. What is event A? The sum on the numbers is 7. Now how you can get sum 7? 1, 6 will give you the number, the total 7. 2, 5 you can get 7. 3, 4 you can get 7. 4, 3, 7. 5 plus 2, 7. 6 plus 1, 7. So in this way we can get the total 7 and this will be your event A1. What is event A2? The sum of the numbers on the dice should be less than 4. So let us take 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 3 will be 4, so no need. So 1 plus 2 will be 3. Then 1 plus 3, 4, 1 plus 4, 5. So that series you can take only up to this 1, 2. Take the next series. 2 plus 1, 3. 2 plus 2, 4. So no need, no need to go further. And 3 plus 1, that is 4. So no need. So these are the three sample points. Now what is event A3? The sum of numbers on the dice is divisible by 3. So from those numbers you do the total and find 1 plus 2, 3, 1 plus 5, 6, see 1 plus 1, 2, so no need, 1 plus 3, 4, no need, 1 plus 5, 6, you have to put 1 plus 6, 7, so no need. Similarly, you do the total of all the terms and see whether it is coming in the table of 3 or not. So 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 4, 6, 2 plus 2, no need, 2 plus 3, no need. 2 plus 4, 6, 2 plus 5, no need because it is 7, 2 plus 6, 8, so no need. Now start from 3, 1, 3 plus 1, 4, no need, 3 plus 2, 5, no need, 3 plus 3, 6, so that you have to take. 3 plus 4, 7, no need, 3 plus 5, 11, no need, 3 plus 6, 9. So in this way you can do the total and find which numbers will be coming over here. The number should be coming in the table of 3. So this will be the sample space of uh, event A3. The sum of numbers on the dice is more than 12. Now see, the last number, that is the maximum numbers are 6, 6. So if you total 6 plus 6, it is 12. So you can't get the total more than 12 in this. So your set will be empty because you will not get any case like that. So event A4 is an empty set or null set. I hope you would have understood these sums of the sample space. We will continue the same exercise in the next session. Go through these sums. Do it. Thank you.